Hi everyone, so I'm back with another video to give some quick tips and monomic to help you memorize the five different types of vision loss and to help students have a better understanding of what is important to know for your exams. I try to keep my videos short and right to the point so students can learn as fast and efficiently as possible without wasting any time. So to start off, the first type of vision loss is cataracts. And with cataracts is a central vision loss and it's due to a cloudy lens. A good mnemonic that you could use to memorize that is it, it starts with a C and so it is cloudy. So cataracts has cloudy lenses. It's a gradual vision loss and it begins in the central vision and then it slowly moves to the peripheral vision second. Um, cataracts have an issue with glares and darkened vision and decreased acuity and distortion. The second type of vision loss is macular degeneration where macular degeneration is a central vision loss, an increase in sensitivity to glares, and a decreased ability to adjust to light changes. Age-related degeneration of macula. And then the third type of vision loss is diabetic retinopathy. Abnormal, this is caused by abnormal blood vessel growth, and this causes retinal scarring and detachment. Uh, diabetic retinopathy um, has impaired central vision, and it's like blurry or spotty. Diabetic retinopathy, it's almost like, it's like ink, ink blots blocking the visual field is kind of how you can picture it. And then the fourth type of vision loss is homonymous hemianopsia. And this is, uh, this one is CVA related, so it's often caused by strokes. Uh, there's loss of half the visual field in each eye, opposite field of injury corresponds to side of sensory motor deficit. And then finally, the, the final type of vision loss is glaucoma, and this is more like a tunnel vision. So what tunnel vision is, is it's the, you lose vision on the periphery and you can only see down the center. So it's like looking through a dark tunnel. So that's peripheral vision loss and it's caused by increased eye pressure and degeneration of optic discs. And that's just about the end of this video. Thank you everybody for checking out my video. If you found this tutoring video to be helpful, please leave a like on the video or hit that subscription box. Every like and subscription helps the channel a lot so I can continue to make free content and help you guys ace your exams.